The investigation intensifies after the deaths of at least 51 migrants who were found dead inside a tractor trailer in San Antonio. That truck was parked in the intense summer heat temperatures reaching over 100 degrees. It is one of the deadliest human smuggling cases in recent memory. And we have team coverage on the investigation now underway. KPRC 2 anchor Daniela Guzman is leading our coverage from San Antonio. Daniela. Lauren Keith, it is still raining out here. You can maybe hear the thunder. There is some lightning, but people living nearby are stopping by at this side. I'll show it to you in just a moment, but in the meantime, just a horrific investigation underway here in San Antonio. At least 51 people were found dead. Dozens more were taken to the hospital after being found inside of a sweltering hot semi truck here in this exact location. We are standing in this location where the trailer was found and the people in Inside. That trailer is gone now, and now you can see what's left a memorial, roses, candles, those crosses. Even the Virgin of Guadalupe, people living in this area have been stopping by. Many of the migrants themselves just saying they know what it feels like to have that dream, to want to cross and want something better for themselves and their family. And they are just so sad and heartbroken to see that this continues to happen over and over again. I'm going to send things over to my colleague who's here with me, real one below. Logan, who spoke to some people who live in this area. He continues our team coverage tonight. Real one. Daniela, many of those who live and work in the area say it's been a troubling day. Many of them coming by here to pay their respects. Locals create a memorial near the site where 51 migrants were found dead inside a tractor trailer in San Antonio. Federal officials believe they're victims of human smuggling. Delilah Hernandez and her mom came to pay their respects. I am both sad and angry because I'm still healing from Uvalde and it's unfortunate. Like it's just here in San Antonio alone, like this isn't even the entire nation that we're dealing with or the state like just our local community is 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 in mourning right now and it's and it's sad the tractor trailer where the migrants were found hauled away before dawn county officials say 16 survivors were taken to the hospital of them four children all treated with heat stroke and heat exhaustion of the dead, according to the Mexican presidents, 22 were Mexican nationals, seven from Guatemala and two from Honduras. These are a lot of lives that were lost here. Homeland Security leading the criminal investigation with support from San Antonio police. A spokesperson writes, quote, we will continue to address the serious public safety threats posed by human smuggling organizations and their reckless disregard for the health and safety of those smuggled. Nearby business owners confused as to why and how the trailer made it to this typically closed dirt road. Uh, I don't know how they get in. I'm thinking when they was fixing that bridge there, and so they opened the road. Usually that road is all the time closed. Now the nationality of the remaining victims haven't been released. Live in San Antonio, Robon Belogan, KPRC, 2 News. Real one, thank you. And we're learning a little bit more about who found that trailer and who found and made that gruesome discovery of the people inside. It was someone who heard screams coming from inside of that truck. We're also hearing about the people that survived who were found barely breathing. And Bill Spencer continues our coverage right now live with the very latest on that, Bill. Daniela, we are located just beside the railroad tracks. It's a few hundred yards from where this semi-tractor trailer was found. It was discovered by a worker who heard cries for help coming from the back of that truck just before 6 o'clock last night. When he looked inside, he saw the unthinkable. We're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. That is how the San Antonio fire chief described the horrifying moment. Investigators discovered dozens of people lying dead, trapped inside a stiflingly hot tractor trailer yesterday. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke. We now know a total of 51 people have died. The result, investigators believe, of the actions of human smugglers who pack those people into a truck without working air conditioners. Hippolito Acosta is a former federal human smuggling investigator who knows very well how these human traffickers operate and why they would leave these helpless people to die in the back of that truck. 
perhaps they realized that some of the people were dead. Uh, the, the natural reaction, unfortunately, is to try to flee. Uh, and get the heck out of the way because they know what the penalties are going to be. But not all of the people inside that truck perished. There are survivors. Of the 16 people rescued from the back of that deadly hot semi-tractor trailer, we are told that two of them have been brought here to University Hospital in San Antonio. Doctors say one is a 23-year-old woman listed in serious condition. The other, a teenage boy listed in critical condition. Methodist Hospital Metropolitan in San Antonio is now treating three survivors, two men and a woman, all listed in critical but stable condition. Christus Health Santa Rosa is treating four more survivors of this tragedy, three adults and a child, and Baptist Medical Center received five patients last night, but since then, three have died. The other two are in critical condition. As for who is responsible for this horrific tragedy, ICE confirms it has detained three individuals now believed to be part of what it's calling a smuggling conspiracy. And as for the truck that was used in this tragedy, it actually tracks back to a legitimate trucking company about 235 miles from here in Alamo, Texas. The owner of that trucking company say that the smugglers apparently cloned the information from his vehicle and used it on the vehicle they used to transport these people here. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. Bill, thank you for that. And something to keep in mind is that some of the migrants that were found inside of this truck were likely headed to Houston or they may have family members in the Houston area. And some people that have stopped by here at this memorial that have been leaving these flowers and the crosses, just trying to heal and find hope, have been saying that these tragedies must stop. They're hoping to see change coming from their home country, that they are fleeing violence, they are fleeing gangs as well, and they're looking for something better. And they also would like to see changes here in the United States. Another thing to keep in mind is the Department of Homeland Security is conducting an extensive investigation into what happened here yesterday. U.S. officials recently announcing increased efforts to crack down on human smugglers so we don't see tragedies continuing to happen here in the United United States. In the meantime, live in San Antonio, I'm Daniela Guzman. Back to you in the studio. Daniela, thank you. We know that the site of that gruesome discovery has turned into a crime scene. What was it like for you logistically trying to get to that area where those bodies were discovered? Yeah, Keith, it, it, this is really a remote area. There is a business here close by, and that's about it. There is a train tracks here next to me, and other than that, a lot of trees and a dirt road, and that's about it. So this was a spot that I believe is not easy to find, not easy to get to unless you're going down this road for whatever reason, but it is a remote area, difficult to get to, but the tragedy was found here in this exact spot where we're standing right now. We'll have much more coming up at six o'clock tonight. All right, Daniela, thank you so much for the update. Please keep us posted.